Hey YouTube, just a quick video here. Uh, picked up a commercial 40 deck. Um, got it from a friend of mine. It uh, works. Uh, there's a few things that need to um, be fixed on it. Uh, or basically, it just needs to be greased up. I think I need, um, you know, um, some new belts, maybe some idler pulleys, idler pulleys, but um, I got it, just basically brought it in the backyard and fired it up and it mowed right off the bat. So I can't t complain too much about it, but, you know, I've heard the um, <clears throat> mowing on this is not great. You know, I, I, my guess is it's just tip speed is just not there. This seems like more of a... Not a super thick brush, but, um, a, you know, just a wide brush cutter that's just not really meant for the heavy-duty stuff like the 30-inch would be, but um, just heavy grass and stuff like that, So, uh, but can tolerate some bigger stuff just because it's got the uh, heavy-duty gearbox and uh, it's pretty damn rugged. So let me uh, grease this thing up and uh, let me dig into it and I'll show you what's going on. All right, so get the, the uh, covers off. It's definitely got some, um, you know, looks like these covers were off at some, at one point, just sitting around. So it's got a lot of rust, but it is fully functional and solid. Everything feels good. These idlers are Schottsky, so I got to fix those. Uh, get some replacements there. And the, the belts are just short belts that are basically just going from here to here. And this one to this one, since there's... I don't know if you guys know the pulley is just two it's a two pulley or a double pulley on this shaft so there's an upper and a lower so this one's going to the upper and this one's going to the lower so uh let me squirt some um let me squirt some uh more um liquid wrench on this uh not these but see if i can get you know the um these out and what I'm going to have to do is also find, because um, I want to I want to use these these pulleys, because obviously the belts are going to um, loosen up over time. So I want to get the right size belt, and uh, we'll also crack open. Let's crack. The, actually, now that I talk about it, let's crack this open. So let me uh, set the camera up and uh, get a good size wrench. All right. Let's uh, see if this will come off easy. No, it did. Nice to have grease that keeps it lubed and it won't open. It opens easily. I don't know if it's grease or oil in here, we'll find out. Well, it's foamy and it looks like water. Eh, looks like we're gonna have to drain that out. No good. No good. So on the right side it looks lubed everything doesn't look rusty which is great um but apparently i don't know if you can if you can see it apologies sorry i'm not the camera no good so i'll have to drain that out and uh put some real well on the bright side water's in there and it's staying in there that means the seals are good so now it's just a matter of getting the water out um, as much as I can and then just filling it with uh, gear oil all right so flipped it over the blades are definitely in rough shape they've definitely been sharpened about a zillion times um, but the deck is solid like there's, there's no holes in it um, it looks good I'm really happy with it definitely uh, worth the money just need to uh, some greasing these are not awful but definitely uh, manageable for what the frequency I'll use it so I'm gonna um, I got it on the side because I want to drain the water out and then now that I see these grease zerks here I'm gonna grease these so So we'll see how this comes off. Come on, take it up. So 
it's probably not going to get, there's probably a dead spot on the back side, but we'll at least get most of it out this way. So, you guys can watch that while I grease up the casters. Is it leak? Oh, got it. It was a little clogged up. Who knows? There we go. Now we're working. So, I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it on the video? I'll turn it a little bit. All right, so I said in a few other videos, I'm using this Harbor Freight. Uh, it's like the you know the knockoff version of the lock and lube. I'm guessing everybody who w watches this has had those commercials for the uh, lock and lube grip. This is a knockoff from yep, you guessed it, Harbor Freight. But so I'm not completely sold on it, and I'm not throwing it away either. So definitely helps for stuff like this probably I would say probably the biggest like negative of this thing it's, it's just this is huge this section is huge and it's big so if you don't have good access like this it's not uh, you know it's not gonna uh, fit so you need to you know your normal run-of-the-mill one so I didn't put that on well enough but all right, we'll do. Uh, I'll come back. No need to watch grease strip. Actually, let me. Might be. Um, I think of it. It might be just airlocked or something. So let's open up the side, and maybe this will help. There we go, a little bit better. But either way, you guys aren't gonna wanna watch that whole time. It's not good video, so through the magic of editing, I will be done with it. All right, so um, got the gearbox drained, put gear oil in it. Uh, I'm not that much of a stickler. I know some guys are really stickler for you know it being the perfect gear oil and um this this is just gear oil that i got from i think it's 80 uh 80 to 120 i think gear oil um i know the snow blowers need like a very special kind because of the bronze uh warm gear or something like that but i'm not that picky i don't run these that hard for that long that i really worry about breakdown or anything like that i cycle through all my stuff so much that you know i'm not worried about it but um you know everything's greased up ready to go so i'm just gonna fire up and uh and uh give it a test just a quick test over there's some high grass right there it's the grass was pretty lame uh the weather was pretty lame this week i should say and so the grass didn't grow much so i really have nothing to um test it out on but i'm gonna test it out here on the uh you know just a little bit a little spot in the back so we just get some uh earmuffs and we'll try it out
I said, uh, not until I get um, you know, the replacement pulleys where they replace the belts. These are pro my guess is these are Pretty happy about it. I'll probably, I'll probably use it here and there with the other ones. Obviously, it doesn't do as good of a cut as a 50 inch, um, but pretty cool. I don't get to use my yellow gravely nearly enough, so I'll start using it more this summer. But uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, we'll see you soon.